Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. And I want to come on here and talk about another story, honey, that's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. Okay, so what's going down in Florida now is that we have a case of a 17-year-old boy, and basically for a whole month in West Palm Beach, Florida, he has been pretending to be a doctor. And what did this young man need to pretend to be a doctor? All he needed was a white coat and a stethoscope. So for an entire month, this 17-year-old kid was in and out of hospital rooms, operating rooms, and everything else, and it wasn't until a doctor started getting suspicious that he eventually called the police and they found out that this 17-year-old kid was not a doctor and that he had no business being there. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Oh, I'm Carol Sparge. Hospital staff members are facing some tough questions after police say a teen passed himself off as a doctor for an entire month and no one noticed. Security officials say they thought the teen was part of the medical team at the Florida hospital. The 17-year-old was busted while wearing a white coat and a stethoscope around his neck. Dr. Sebastian Kent, a real doctor at the OBGYN office, became suspicious of the imposter when he entered an exam room with a patient. The first thing I thought was, I am getting, I'm really getting old because these young doctors look younger every year. <laughs> Dr. Kent called security, who then called police. The teen's mom told police her son has an illness and has not been taking his medication. Both police and the hospital decided not to charge him. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip, and this whole situation is a hot ratchet mess. I don't understand what the hell is going on in Florida. First of all, there's plenty of blame to go around, okay? I blame the 17-year-old kid for trying to be grown and trying to be a doctor. My thing is this, if the mother knew that her son was not on medication, then she should be held somewhat responsible because she should have been on top of him, making sure that he was taking his medication. Another thing, he's 17 years old. Is he not in school? How was he able to play doctor every day for an entire month? Did the school not call the mom? Is he homeschooled? This whole situation makes no sense whatsoever. Another thing, I also blame the hospital staff. I mean, when I worked corporate America, you used to have to have a badge to get in the building, forgot your badge at home, you'd be stopped, you'd have to check in, they'd have to do an entire list of security features to basically identify who you were. A lot of times your manager may have to come downstairs and come get you to prove that you work in that department. So how was this young man able to do this, come in and out of different hospital doors, different rooms, places in the hospital where you have to be authorized? How was he able to go back and forth so freely for a month before someone finally noticed? You know, it's very obvious that this hospital is slipping in security. This entire situation is crazy as hell. But I'm assuming this young man must be white because one, they're screaming mental illness. And two, I can't find not one picture of him or video of this kid. And what's crazy is that there's another story coming from Ratchet Ass Florida about another kid who pretended to be a doctor. But we'll talk about that in the next video. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment with your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. That's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. How do you think this kid was able to get away with this for an entire month? Do you also blame his mom as well as the medical facility for allowing him to just, you know, roam the hospital freely? The mother not knowing if the kid went to school or not? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.